I'm not here to tell you why Manjaro is bad, why you shouldn't use it and you should just use base Arch Linux. There are plenty of articles out there doing exactly that. And really in this case, I don't think there's anything new to be said. But what I want to talk about instead is why is there this perception that the AUR is such an issue on Manjaro and why if you are using Manjaro, you should be very cautious in how you actually approach it. Minus the typical pompous, ego, asshole field perspective that you typically see when this is discussed. While Manjaro is based on Arch Linux in name, it's based on Arch Linux more akin to something like Ubuntu being based on Debian than something like, say, Endeavor being based on Arch. So while Manjaro does make use of the Pac-Man package manager like every distro based on Arch Linux, and its repos are based on the Arch repos, the repos it connects to are not the Arch repos. That is the important distinction. What this allows for is some packages in the Manjaro repos to be held back, let's say, one or two weeks, so that if there is a patch that comes out that addresses some major flaw or maybe there's some configuration change that needs to be made, the Arch users can basically go and beta test it, and then at some point, it will roll out to Manjaro which is why I say it's more akin to Ubuntu, because Ubuntu's repos are based on the Debian repos, but are not the Debian repos themselves, compared to something like Endeavor, which does connect directly to the Arch repos. Now, I'm not here to discuss the merits of this release model, whether it makes any sense to hold these packages back, whether the Manjaro team is actually doing any work that justifies doing that, but what is important is this is the release model they are using. The reason why this is important is because the vast majority of packages on the AUR, because the AUR is designed for Arch Linux, are based around what is available in the Arch repos, I guess with the exception of things like, say, PAMAC. Usually this isn't a problem. The vast majority of things you try to install from the AUR on Manjaro are going to work because most of the AUR are just random ass GitHub projects that don't really update that quickly. Maybe a new dependency will come out and then it takes like a week or two to update. And by that point, Manjaro already has the newer version. But what about a program that does update quickly? What about a program that comes out with a new version and requires the absolute latest version for one of its dependencies. Well, this may not actually be available in the Manjaro repos, and now the package fails to build. And while not being damaging to your system, it might be incredibly damaging to your workflow. Let's say it's your video editor, your video capture, your image editor, anything that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. But these inconsistent repos can lead to the reverse problem as well. So I mentioned earlier that PAMAC is available in the AUR. And a while back, there was a transition from Pac-Man version 5 to Pac-Man version 6. Now, obviously, Arch Linux already had version 6, and Manjaro was running version 5, waiting for a while to move up to the newer version. But PAMAC being an application made for Manjaro required version 5 being available. So during that period, if you installed PAMAC on Arch Linux, it wouldn't actually work because it required the older version. Now, the next problem is based on how important you consider the Arch Wiki. Now, while Pac-Man is available on Manjaro and is still perfectly usable, because Manjaro is more of a user-focused distro, most people are probably going to be using PAMAC, and a lot of people are probably going to be using the PAMAC GUI as well. Now, by all definitions of the term, PAMAC is an AUR helper. It's an application that automates the process of installing from the AUR, grabbing dependencies, uninstalling stuff, all of that fun stuff, along with other things like installing flat packs and snaps as well, and also being a wrapper for Pac-Man. The issue here is technically AUR helpers are not supported by Arch Linux, and you should be familiar with the manual build process in order to troubleshoot problems. Now, the reason why I don't consider this that big of a deal, it's because most people use an AUI helper. Yes, you should know how to manually build an AUI package if something does go wrong, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you that shipping an AUI helper is bad when it's literally the first thing that I install when I install my new system. Even if I wasn't using one of the established AUI helpers, things like Yay, Peru, or Pamac, I would probably just go and write my own script to go and do it anyway, because look, I don't really care about writing out the same command a hundred times manually. If I'm 
doing something like this, this is the definition of something that should be automated. I only bring this up because it is technically the opinion of the Arch developers that you shouldn't be using an AUI helper, but that's about as much weight as I put in it. I don't really care too much. The bigger problem is the PAMAC developers. Now, I don't think this is intentional. I think it's just incompetent and not testing your patches properly. But twice this year, the PAMAC developers have pushed out objectively broken patches. These aren't patches where it's like, oh yeah, it's only a big deal under some situations. No, these are patches that were completely untested and brought down the AUR and led to PAMAC being blocked from the AUR. The first one was seven months ago, and then there was another one, I believe, like three months ago, two months ago, sorry, where basically it was flooding the, uh, the AUR search and then bringing it down as well. For a small AUR helper, this wouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's say I make an AUR helper and it does effectively this exact same problem. It sends out a request every single time I type a letter. That wouldn't be a big deal because there'd maybe be 10 people using it at most. But when you're at the scale of something like Manjaro, and the way this exploit happened is you had AUR search enabled. Every user that had it enabled and was doing searches was constantly pinging the AUR. That's a much, much bigger problem. Considering it's already happened twice, I wouldn't be surprised if it happens a third time. Now, to be fair about this exploit, this one is also caused by the AUR website as well. The difference is the level of scale, as I said with the AUR help before. So on the AUR website, when you go and search for a letter, it is going to send a request for every single letter you search. The difference though is that if you go to the AUR website, you are going there specifically to use the AUR. If you have the AUR enabled in PAMAC, even if you're not trying to get something from the AUR, let's say you're trying to get a flat pack or something from Pac-Man, it's still going to be pinging the AUR in this search. If you want to have the best experience with the AUR, I'd recommend using Arch Linux or an Arch-based distro that uses the Arch repos. I'd also recommend avoiding PAMAC using another AUR helper that doesn't seem to break every five or so months and you should be good. Not to say that PAMAC is bad. PAMAC is a great application and when it's working, it is great. But sometimes it does break pretty badly. Ultimately, I'm not saying don't use Manjaro. It's your computer, do whatever the hell you want with it. I really don't care. But if you're going to be using Manjaro or you're going to be recommending Manjaro to a user, this is something you do need to keep in mind. The AUR is not made for you and it is going to have problems every so often. Even if those problems are not going to be all the time, you cannot guarantee it's going to be as consistent as Arch. So let me know down below, do you use an Arch-based distro or are you just here to waste your time? And if you do use an Arch-based distro, what do you use? Do you use Arch? Do you use Endeavor, Manjaro, Artix, Parabola, anything else out there? I can probably think of more if I spend the time to do so. And if you like this video and you want to support the channel and become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, certainly bear pay linked in the description down below. I've got all my other links down there as well. And that's going to be it for me. So... I'm out.